Yo, what is up guys? We are back. So, I accidentally did this place, and what I mean by I accidentally did it, I mean we had the stream started, like it was pulled up in the sidebar and everything. I didn't hit play. Oh, yeah. Though I don't think we got any levels. Like, it was it was yesterday night? Like it was late. Our dragon, I think, went up like one level. So, okay. If the dragon clearly matters a lot, then wait. We're gonna redo it specifically for the stream, though, just to make the point that the levels we're at. Level fifty-three berserker. I'll be honest, um, this level was surprisingly a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be ridiculously harder. Um, it wasn't all that hard. In, <clears throat> in terms of, like, difficulty, I'd honestly probably say, like, this is easier than some of the new game plus stuff. Most of the new game plus stuff we've been doing is all. Our berserker and our archer in the range of that. Okay. But yeah, no, like... This is... Fairly easy. The fact that it's infinite waves, you'd think that would make it difficult, but no. Actually, what that does is it just means that you have more possibility for an upgrade. Now, I did have the realization, late waves, this is just for late wave, enemies do spawn from the green targeting you. I think it's when the cult is spawned on the screen, I'm not positive, we're about to find out. Might just be this late, yeah, yeah, it's whenever they spawn on the screen. Just like, as a major rule of thumb though, this is relatively easy, I'd say. Uh, you just, you need to have your guys guarding him, and then, bam lightning. And that's, that's literally how you win. And the screen gets crazy because he's doing enchantments and stuff. It's... I don't think this boss had to be set up like this. I think it could have just been it at one end, you with the other. Because unless this boss fight goes on for a while, he doesn't teleport. Like, the time when I did this uh, last night... <clears throat> I remember right, he... Down halfway of his last bar, I think it was, and he teleported. But I did that run differently with this one. It was a slightly different setup. Uh, I had my dragon, I think, where my ice mages and my. Uh, so it took a little bit longer. Slowing down enemies, not That is why you like Yeah. But you, you get the picture. Anyway, though, aside from that, though, like. This run though, as long even with him teleporting around, you have to look for him. It's not a, it's one screen, so it's not difficult. It's not like just someone you're gonna lose the crowd. Also, towards the end, uh, all enemies I think. Yeah. and that that's it. That's that's the final boss right there. That is the end of it. And yeah, see, he barely gives XP. It it's garbage XP. Got it though, so. So I did notice though, if you do this on, uh. What is it? If you do this on extreme, you get a different ending than you would on normal. The reason I say that is the extreme ending is both the healer and Zelamir are there. On normal, it's just Zelimir sacrificed himself. Now, I think that actually does change the book entry, however, I'm not sure. And yeah. By the way, I actually, I did take the time to read over these. Uh, we might actually do this in, like, just one video. 
Um, legit though, this is basically like, the journal's the story, and it's like side stuff, obviously. The side quests go in the spaces we don't already have, so like, you, we... Uh, the secret stuff though is developer notes, which some of them are actually funny. Not all of them. Some of them are not mine. But yeah. Him was honestly a good spot. do this? I don't think we can, honestly, but... And we could... Nah, nah, we'll wait a little bit longer. Uh... We could make some progress. I think we could do this. Okay. okay, load up. to go about this. Those two should have the exit closed down, hopefully. You know how, like, strong these things are gonna be compared to what we've been fighting. However, for things like the normal waves, obviously, they're gonna just... Things just hit the Berserker, they're dead. Yeah, and also, uh, I forgot to actually mention this. Yesterday's stream, I think it was the third or fourth one we did. I, it was a Protector's Quest, I know that, but, um, third or fourth. I didn't see it until, uh, we were done streaming, and I looked at my phone to check the, uh, chat board. I wasn't actually checking the board, I was just seeing if the stream ended right, because it kind of ended. And, uh, Somebody actually did say that Dragon's Dogma sounds like a good idea. So whichever stream I was talking that about that in, apparently somebody actually did say that sounded good. I might stream that, like, genuinely. Also, I did check if, uh, y'all remember, I was... I think I said I was, like, between, like, 60 and 80, somewhere between there. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm level 91, like, right, as of, as of right now, and I actually am playing it a little bit on the side. But I might hit, like, new game very hard. I'm trying to get it so that I can do Bitter Black Isle, but, like, easy Bitter Black Isle. Not, like, you have to strategize 24-7. I'm gonna get, like, my Magic Archer vocation up, because I did my first two playthroughs as... I did my first playthrough as a fighter, my second playthrough as a warrior. And I did my third playthrough as a strider. I did about, like, five playthroughs in total. My first one was on normal. My second one was on very hard. But we're only on one of those places. Kind of why there wasn't a lot of it. Not bad, but probably could have been better. Dragon. A range on the heat. Yeah, that's okay. You have some invisible guys. They're not till later rounds, but we don't.
Yeah, let's see how this goes. Yeah, it's going pretty well. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty well. <clears throat> when we get to the invisible guys, I might like to like background you just see me smiting. But if you notice like that cloud glitch, that happens a lot. Like their clouds just fly away. Like over here, none of them have it. No way, it's like good, goodbye. Yeet, I'm out of here. I think he's playing out a lot better than I thought it would go. Checking out the, uh, board. There were a lot of complaints about difficulty on this. And, you no, know, really, I don't, I don't see why. I legitimately do not see why there were complaints. Fair? Uh, matter of fact, I think, from everything I saw, everyone agreed that the Super Sheep on, uh, the first playthrough is a little bit too hard to kill for hero mode. However, eh, you can achieve it for it, so might as well. But like, uh, now the other thing though was that Super Sheep on New Game Plus is pretty cool. By the way, we can actually check, uh, it's, yeah. So you can actually see the achievements without me pulling up the achievement menu, which would, uh, close the game down. <coughs> so yeah, got this. By the way, using advanced targeting option, what that is, is, um, I might do a guide explaining all the achievements because they're pretty simple. The targeting option isn't a targeting option. What it is, is, uh, you go into a match, and basically, if you've already done the match on that specific difficulty once before, you can load where all of your troops were just by pressing A when the, uh, match starts. It'll, like, it'll pop up, like, a half second before the enemy spawn. Just click A, you get the achievement, freebie. Probably why it's in the trainer section. I missed it my entire first playthrough. I actually got it while we were farming on this. I didn't redo any waves the first one. And then, gotta do the medium stuff still, which I earn all books from bonus challenges in the standard game. Well, bonus challenges require us to beat these. So it is unlocking Endless Challenge 2. We need every star from the first playthrough. Uh, also in this category section is the reach level 60. I'm assuming, I'm assuming, that to get to the Super Sheep, like to be able to beat it baseline, level 60 is what you should be. I'm not positive, but that sounds like it would make sense. Uh, the rest of the stuff is just earn all the unique armor in the standard game. I'll do that. Wait, there was one for the Super Sheep, that's why. Okay. And then uh, earn all the books from most challenges. I don't know if the cheat code books pop in that. But we're gonna get those anyway. That'll be its own stream. Uh, hard. So this is gonna be on new game plus stuff. New game plus stuff for both channels. Uh, upgrading all the unique armor. Obviously, we'll get that by the time we get the stars. Uh, getting all the blue stars. I don't know what that's for. I don't know what blue stars are for. I think that's for side missions, but I don't think so at the same time. That's weird. Uh, upgrade all the unique. Yeah, see, like, okay, so, the level 60 thing's back here. Super Sheep is up here, in hard. So, yeah. It'll be about the same time we beat New Game Plus. That That's actually what it says. So I assume it's meant for, like, level 70s. The hardest achievement in the game is Ultra Sheep Slayer, which is beating it on New Game Plus. Beating Hero Mode Plus Plus, which I'm assuming means beat New Game Plus to get every star on hero mode, which is what we're on. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Not positive, but I'm pretty sure. And that's before this. So that means the super sheep is level one, like it's level 99. That is the only explanation I can get off of uh, what level that is. And the first sheep is probably 62 level 70. So yeah, at about level 65, we'll try it. And if it goes terrible, then we'll know. Right said though, we are almost done with the areas that have invisible guys. Yep. 
Isn't he the last thing with the invisible guys? I don't remember. Frick. That's normally important. Be important because, like, if it is. He's the only real threat in this whole game. Like, dead serious. He's the only threat in this entire game. At least for most of it. Dragon up here. Okay. The way we're gonna do this is he'll be buffing. He'll be ranging. Uh, he'll try to solo this lane, but it probably won't go well. He'll try to show. Shill. The Ice Mage is a she. Oh my god, I keep forgetting that. She looks like a guy from here. Like, actually, if you don't pay attention to hair at all. Oh, that literally just sounded probably crazy. But if you don't pay attention to hair at all, it does look like a guy. Oh, yeah. Now then, we're gonna try to kill Zelomir before things get bad. And yes, by the way, uh, things will get bad. Things will get very bad. Compared to how they are now, things will get very bad. So the enemies do slowly scale. I have found that out. In infinite levels, enemies slowly scale infinitely. So yeah, I don't know if there's like a certain point where that stops. However, I do know though that it goes fairly high. Yeah, highest I've seen was in that final mission. Uh, my first playthrough, like I said, it took a while. It uh, took about like five or ten minutes, and I thought we were recording that, but we weren't. Um, I think the enemy scaled to like, what, 98? Like, I think that was the highest I saw, but that's saying that they started at like level 60s. So, it definitely can scale all the way up to whatever max level is, if there's a max level. If there's not a max level, then I guess they would have just gone up infinitely enough. I just barely won against them. They have any good weapons? No, they don't. It really sucks when they don't have good weapons. I don't have any, like, side missions either. <sighs> Dang it, we got more invisible guys. Another hermit? Hello, stranger. You again. Have we met, madam? <laughs> you say magic skulls? I like that. Like, that that's my new favorite character out of this entire game. Oh, hold up. Okay, I judge this. The fact that you can get Devour on whatever character's holding this, which would obviously be the Berserker, but like, adding Devour to it makes it insta-kill if an enemy is at 10% health, and that's an always thing. Plus, you've got plus 20% speed, and it's the highest damage. That all added together is a like, I understand it, but it's a little much. Could have had a little bit of a tinier upgrade. Uh, There's nothing we can get at this current moment. Could go back and try some stuff. I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna try this. We're gonna see how bad it goes. If it works, then woohoo, we get a bronze skull. If it doesn't work, well then. Bad. Bad indeed.
Let me just fully upgrade the archer because that hits him. Archer. I forgot to move troops, we'll move troops. I genuinely think this might be true. Like, I think it's doable. You just have to be prepared. The knight could hold back everything else. Immune to anything. Uh, he's immune to a lot of things. I genuinely don't know how I'm gonna be this guy. Oh, it's almost dead, it's almost dead, it's almost dead. Oh! Oh, we got it at the end! Yes! Okay, that was just barely. Oh. It's actually a hard boss, though. Yeah. That's how we know we're getting close to the end. Not really, I mean, we've still got a while. But, I mean, hey, a bronze skull does... Where are our strongest weapons right now? Four and sixty-two. That's our highest for melee. Okay, so this could be way above those. I'm gonna give the edge of order to uh, the berserker. So, we did all that. Try to do the next area, or we could try to three-star more areas. We skipped, like, all the side missions up here. Oh, is there any down here? Try this one. I don't... 21 to 29. 
Um, if we're going by New Game Plus, like, I wish they had done actual levels. Because 21 through 29 is, that's 20 through 31, which means that's slightly harder than what we have to do. But not on average, just like towards the Um, so I genuinely don't know if we can do it. Let's try it on normal. Might be doable, might not. It looks like the enemies literally come from nearly every direction, and it's all water. Which, I don't really know if I want to say that's bad or good, because it's not terrible. Not. It's just not good. And we've got, like, routes for them to take, but they're water enemies, so technically, it's in their nature to not go whatever route you think they're gonna take. I don't know if they're gonna do that like that, but if they do, we need to be ready. Oh no, I guess they do take the route. I also guess they're ridiculously weak. No, I, I genuinely guess they must just be weak. Yeah, no, that, that's my genuine right now understanding of this. They must just be ridiculously weak with that I can kill them. Ridiculously is, is the moral of this. Oh, it, it's over. That was the underleveled enemies, though, so to be fair, we could have been doing that at a higher difficulty. Would it be a big difference? And some more enemies. It's a lot more enemies, and they're higher leveled. Also, a lot more waves. But we might be able to do it. Honestly, not sure. I'm, I'm hoping we could, as, as as a whole note here. I think that this shouldn't be too difficult. However, at the same time, I understand that this game tries to be at least difficult. But like, I don't dislike this game for trying. However, I wish this game would try harder. I don't like ridiculously hard tower defenses, but this is... This is halfway through New Game Plus, so you'd think it would be a bit more on the ridiculous side. New Game Plus, honestly, I expect it to work. We're making it out to be really bad in terms of getting unbalanced, even for regular play, and uh, this ain't regular- This is like, this is putting the game in hard mode. Yeah, we're getting great crap and XP. That's just saying that they underdid the amount of scrap and XP you get in the base game. Like, either way... Like, if anything, this is just time consuming. Not time. That is. Not like boring time. Boring time. No, I see you. I see you. That enemy thought he could get me. Got hit. Oh my god, we sped it up and got hit. Oh. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, see, that that's the restart thing I was talking about. That, that actually makes me mad. We got hit. Like, literally six more waves left. Yeah, we could have just gone through, gotten the XP. Who cares? But, I care. That, 
that actually matters. Because uh, the perfect score, I think, is the uh, rock skull. Like, if we get hit, we wouldn't get that. No. Like, that's... Okay, we did it. Unharmed. We got the bronze skull. We're all level 50. Okay. So after this match, I'm gonna go probably play Dragon's Dogma. Uh, we aren't gonna stream it. We're gonna stream it, uh, after this game. I don't want to be streaming too many things at once. I'm gonna stream this, we're gonna beat it, we're gonna beat Dark Souls after we beat this. And we're gonna... but then that should give me enough time to where I'm about level, like, 120 or 130. So, we should be able to do better Black Isle. Really easily. I don't want to be overpowered, but at the same time, I don't want to be too weak for it. Especially with, like, a character that I haven't played as before, which is the Magic Creature. So. It's gonna be easier. Wait, why is there a question mark? The only thing we can use is the Ice Mage and the R.O. Oh, that's... Okay. Always wanted to try a mission that was way too freaking hard. Sounds, sounds fair game. Sounds fair. Actually, I don't know. This might be doable. Gotta help out.
Yeah, because they can handle those. That's the boss. Oh. Oh, no, there's two of them. Oh no, there's two of them, and they're ridiculously OP. Oh no, I didn't think this through. I should have been shooting at them from the start, and I wasn't. Oh no, oh no. This might actually be doable if I had been, but I, I really wasn't. That, that's not good. Even if I get, like, max shots on them, I probably still won't manage to kill them. Killed the first one. Might not have enough magicka to deal with the uh, next guys too. Oh my God, that really would suck. It wouldn't let me target my lightning on them for a second. Sometimes the game does that. Oh, we did it! Is that a bronze skull? That's a bronze skull! No! <laughs> For doing that, he saw a shiny light and we got whole area side missions. Yo, what if the whole area side mission? That would be sweet. That would actually be a good use of this entire, because there's just this huge area. Yeah, that would, that would do it. Also, main game-wise, we are close to the end, surprisingly. Peace. <laughs>
They've got three spawns. Here, now I can place a tree. Those troops. Okay. This should be good for the Okay, we're definitely going to need a new weapon. Either that or higher levels. On this map, this is actually like the first place we had to farm, and this is also the map where the only setup I remember is where the archer goes. I remember the berserker goes in back. Goes there. The dragon goes in the middle. I just made it. Remember if that's exactly it. It's like the first place though that we had to farm though base game. So it's where we over farmed. I think we farmed like six levels over where we should have been. Uh, we were we were up there compared to where we should have been. Magic doesn't miss. Our arrows do.
Ravens goal-wise, there is really just these two. light things then just so that we can. Oh, I meant to equip the yeah, by the way, I'm going to be getting a new headset soon, because <clears throat> if y'all can't tell, I'm using a Kinect right now, and the quality is really bad to say the least. Personally, I think the stuff we haven't done that we can do, most of it requires us to be about level 6. Some of the stuff we could do, this we cannot, dear god no, but like some of it we could. Might be able to do this. This one was a uh, good map setup and everything. It, it's in our favor. I get through, I'm gonna shock him, but I think that should be good. So the dragon and the ice mage cancel each other out with fire and ice. Good, uh, there is one book that you can get from, uh, the cheat code shop for stone. You get those, uh, like one of the books that makes the Iron Eye Stone get out. But, even without that, like, the damage those two side by side is. Oh, we did it. It honestly feels great that we're almost done with this. <clears throat> okay, so what we're gonna do next is go ahead and do y'all think we can do this? I think so. This one should be decent. Just, there, there are some invisible guys, but this is the map where you have the mage set up to where you can have it like in the center. Off literally everything. Mage right here, so our berserker gets full use of it. Uh, we will put the... Okay, right here. The dragon right about here because... Uh, Ice Mage right here, and Archer. Actually, Archer. I don't think they're gonna make it this far, so... That's <clears throat> so, we got this. Oh. Come through the red, and the Ice Mage should be able to Back. I like difficulty. 
que not the invisible the uh mask <coughs> sucks because that means most of them might be the way they break through or hiding behind the best. Yeah, that one almost got through. Hold up. Gotta watch closely. Make sure not to Unharmed, we got it. Okay, so we got. I would actually make a good farming level. At least for like two or three levels. It, it really would. But. Not gonna farm till off stream. Off stream is where we do our farming, on stream is where we make farm. Uh. We could do this. <clears throat> it might be able to. Yeah, some characters have like, they look like they've got a lot more skills. Like, okay, so every skill can only go up to 9 unless you're the main character, in which case they go up to 15. This character has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It has 8. Right? Right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Like, that's kind of a difference there. And also one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so like it's it's about ten each. But that's still saying like the max level for them getting skills is still like a nine difference. And also eleven times nine doesn't equal 99, so unless max level is not 99, you can't get all your skills for some character. And for the medic, obviously. Nobody will suspect a thing. Put our two warriors right there. I 
By the way, the healer actually does buff teammates, which is why I'm doing this. His zeal uh, encourages teammates. I actually read what the effect is, I just know that it is a buff. Assuming it's damage. Hear that or defense, and in which case it's defense. <clears throat> he also heals. Like, just in case. Lab. got through. One red got through. I'm not doing this for XP. So like, something it's through, it's, it's legit bad. Here. He's right here. Dragon's right here. Berserker's up top. Knight is down here. We upgrade our Berserker. Ed. Knight, age, okay. <clears throat> okay, so it's good up until the very end. Know that. They're slowly winning. Now watch the top. This will play the exact same way. I mean, a red enemy from the top should. Hit. No, we almost got hit. We're still at 170. Or 870. Okay. We almost got hit, but the knight saved us by a slip. Well. I know I've actually got to pay attention to this last one. Not necessarily on the last round yet. These are the last enemies. Unharmed. Okay. Yo, we got it. That is another one down. No, maybe max level isn't 99, though. Like, that is just an assumption I'm making. So it could be higher. Ah, uh, we're hitting the freeze. We are in the freeze zone. That's why the black screen was up so long. Now, next match we do, it's gonna do it at least once or twice. Yeah, it's there. It's there. The loading. No... Okay, yo, we're gonna end the stream here then, because it, we're, we're in the free zone, uh, not the hour mark. Uh, it's just this game specifically, I don't know why it starts to freeze up at about the hour point. Um, okay, so, since we're at the freeze point, I'm gonna use that zone that I said seems like a good farm point. We're gonna farm to being about Berserker and Archer level 6. Those two at level 60 should be able to floor the next hour worth of so, I hope you all had fun watching, and like always, see you next time.